to CLASP Early On. Journey to Learning Program. My name is Brunella. And my name is Lovna. Bonjour mes amis, bonjour mes amis, bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends, comment allez-vous, comment allez-vous, comment allez-vous. How do you do? Ça va bien, merci. Ça va bien, merci. Ça va bien, merci. I'm fine, thank you. Quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? How old are you? Bienvenue, bienvenue, bienvenue. We welcome you. Hello, bonjour, how are you today? Comment ça va aujourd'hui? Welcome back. Today, we are going on winter exploration walk and we are doing the ice tower experiment. We will bring our nature discoveries indoors and test our ideas with the experiment. Also, we will read the book when Winter Comes by Nancy Van Lan. It is illustrated by Susan Gaber. We are exploring the acronym STEM, which is originated with the National Science Foundation. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It's a way of observing, thinking, questioning, and encouraging children to think in a more holistic way. It's never too early to start introducing STEM to your child. And the best way to do it is to go outside. Natural sitting offers children unlimited opportunities to explore and investigate. Let's get ready to explore winter. What will we observe? What will we investigate and discover? Are you ready? Est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Great! Let's go outside with Brunella. Allons-y! What does winter mean to you? Let's explore winter together on this winter walk. What will we observe? I hear with my little ear a sound of winter. Do you hear it? Cold winds blowing. I spy with my little eye something that is cold. Can you see something cold? Let's take a closer look. What do you see that is cold? Ice. And the ice has formed around the rocks. If we look a little closer, we'll see some movement under the ice. What's floating under the ice? What temperature does ice need to form? I hear with my little ear a crackling noise. Do you hear that too? I spy with my little eye something in the water. Come take a closer look. Do you see? That's right. 
the ducks. The ducks are swimming in the freezing water. I wonder how they keep warm in that cold water. Surrounding the water is ice. If we look a little closer into the distance, we'll see some more creatures on ice. What are those creatures in the distance? Let's take a closer look. Canadian geese walking on an icy pond. How did the pond turn into ice? So much exploring today. Let's bring some of our observations on ice to the lab with Labna. Thank you, Brunella. It's wonderful to go outside and explore the nature. Winter is amazing. Winter, hiver. Can you say hiver? Great! It's cold outside. Cold. Froid. Froid. And sometimes it's freezing. Glacial. Can you say glacial? Wonderful. Let's start our experiment. We need water bottle, food coloring, and ice. La glace. Can you say la glace? Great! You can create your own colorful ice cubes. It's so much fun. La glace. Ice. Also, you need paper and pencil to record your findings. Add your favorite food coloring in the water bottle. Cool the water bottle in the freezer for almost 2 hours and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Our aim is to get water that is close to freezing, but not frozen water. Take the ice temperature using the thermometer. Water freezes when cooled for sufficient time. When you see that ice flakes are forming inside the bottle, it's time to take it out of the freezer. Be very slow and careful. What do you think will happen when we pour the water on the ice cubes? Pour the water over the ice cubes. Look! We can see an ice tower forming over the ice cubes. Keep pouring gently until the ice tower stops forming. I wonder what will happen when we have warm water in the bottles. Keep trying and have fun. If you don't get the tower, it means that the water is not cool enough. Refrigerate it for a few more minutes and try again. Look at this tower. It's a beautiful blue ice tower. I wonder why we used ice cubes. Does the temperature in the room change the results? How high of an ice tower can you pour before it breaks? What do you think? I wonder if the experiment works the same if the water has salt in it. What did we learn from the ice tower experiment? At the end, record your findings. Let's go to Brunella to find out more about winter and ice. Let's play one more game of I Spy. 
Are you ready? I spy with my little eye something cold. Something that needs the temperature to reach a freezing point. Something that forms layers of ice crystals. Can you guess? That's right, ice. Winter brings the elements needed to turn a pond into ice. STEM education is critical to the success of our children. It encourages more curiosity, imagination, and exploration in young children. As adults, it's important to foster this natural curiosity by interacting with your child to support active learning and by asking STEM questions that stimulate your child's thinking, making comparisons and predictions testing and sharing ideas while observing environment around them. Some examples of STEM questions for higher level of thinking would be, tell me what you noticed. Why do you think this happened? What would happen if, how could you add another material? Children construct knowledge in their own way. They collect information that allows them to form their own theories about how the world works based on their own experiences. Winter, hiver, ice, la glace, Cold, froid, freezing, glacial. Here's a simple STEM activity that you can try at home. This activity focuses on the E in STEM, engineering, building with ice blocks. All you'll need are various size containers. Fill them up with water and add some food coloring for fun and freeze until solid. Once frozen, pop them out of the containers and bring them outdoors. This is a great invitation for your child to explore and create sculptures using ice. It's important to remember that everyday activities involve aspects of STEM. And guess what? You're doing them already. Baking and cooking, shopping, budgeting, gardening, and simple nature walks. Encourage your child's curiosity and be an active part in their journey to learning. When Winter Comes, written by Nancy Van Lan and illustrated by Suzanne Geiber. This story takes us on an outdoor winter adventure. When a child discovers his natural environment, there's observations that lead to deep thinking and questioning. When winter comes. Where, oh where, do the leaves all go? When winters come and the cold winds blow. The leaves go tumble, tumbling down. Snow is their blanket, their bed is the ground. Where, oh, where do the flowers go when winter comes and the cold wind blows? The 
their petals wilt, but their seeds burrow down to rest underneath the leaves golden crown. Where, oh where, do the caterpillars go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Inside their cocoons, so tightly wound, waiting for spring to bring green to the ground. Where, oh where, do the songbirds go when winter comes and the cold wind blows? they fly, warm weather bound, to bask in the sun on the soft mossy ground. Where, oh where, do the field mice go when winter comes and the Cold winds blow. Field mice tunnel under the ground and rest in a nest thick with thistle down. Do the dappled deer go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Dappled deer wander, making no sound. They rest closely knit under trees in a mound. Where, oh where, do the fish all go when winter comes and the cold wind blows? Let's see you blow. Deep under they swim when the pond's ice bound. In the dark, they quietly circle around. Where, oh where, does our little one go when winter comes and the cold wind blows? In a warm bed, when winter comes around, listening to the wind with its gushing sound, watching the snow as it falls to the ground. Snuggling deep, fast asleep. The end. For more information on STEM, please visit www.naeyc.org forward slash resources forward slash topics forward slash STEM. To speak to an early on resource consultant, Call the Child Supports Brief Consultation Booking Line at 905-800-8800.
905-795-3527 at extension 3550. For more information on mental health, please visit www.everymind.ca. To view more videos like this and to join our live Zoom sessions and to view our daily activities blog posts, please visit our website www.clasp.com forward slash early on. Bye bye, goodbye, bye bye, bye bye, goodbye. I can clap my hands, I can stomp my feet, I can clap my hands, I can stomp my feet. Bye bye, goodbye, bye bye, bye bye, goodbye.